Hey there, Jay Grazio with Shooting Illustrated, here with another eye carry segment, bringing you firearms and gear for personal defense. Today we're taking a look at the new Springfield Armory Hellcat in Emission First Tactical Holster, along with a Surefire Light. Let's take a closer look at this gear. Springfield Armory's new Hellcat Micro 9mm pistol is a triumph of one-upmanship, literally. Other Micro 9mm pistols offer 10 rounds in tiny packages, but the Hellcat, to borrow a phrase, goes up to 11. With an overall length of 6 inches, a height of 4 inches, and an unloaded weight of 18 ounces, the Hellcat size is closer to the Car PM9 than even the Glock G26 or Smith & Wesson M&P subcompact. It's part of a relatively new class of handgun, shared with the Sig Sauer P365 and Sky DVG-1, among others, and brings near full-size capacity to pocket-sized pistols. There's a lot to distinguish the Hellcat from the rest of the crowd, though. Texturing is not aggressive, but prevalent. There's texture on parts of the pistol you don't normally see, like where the thumb pad of the support hand rests above the magazine release, or ahead of the trigger guard as a finger rest. Controls are minimal. There's a mag release, a slide stop, and a takedown lever. There's no grip safety, or grip zone for that matter. The trigger is flat-faced, has a bit of take-up, and then a fairly consistent, not terribly heavy pull. Reset is about middle of the road, it's not measured in microns, but it's also not of the throw your finger off the trigger to reset variety either. Up top are not one but two surprises. First, the sights themselves are useful and distinct. A white outline U comprises the rear sight, with the front sight having a yellow outline tritium vial. It's quick to acquire in bright or low light, and the rear sight is of the ledge variety, if ever the pistol needs to be racked on an edge rather than via hand. With the nested recoil springs offering pretty stiff resistance, that might just be needed. The other surprise is the OSP, optical sight pistol. For a whopping $30 premium over the non-OSP version, the Hellcat comes with a milled slide set up to accommodate a Shield, RMSC, or J-Point mini red dot sight. Even if you're not a fan of red dots, that's not a lot of extra cost should you ever change your mind. On the range, the Hellcat is, well, a handful, but not as bad as you might feel. Sure, it's a little snappy, but that's going to be the case with pretty much any handgun in a serious defensive caliber that's this small. There's just not that much to hold on to. It's not terrible though, and certainly tame enough to allow some time on the range before you feel the need to take a break. And with both 11 and 13 round magazines available, one of each is standard with each Hellcat, you'll have plenty of time on the shooting line to get to know your Hellcat, and that's a good thing no matter how you look at it. With the Hellcat's small footprint, it's ideal for inside the waistband and appendix carry. With that in mind, we've chosen Mission First Tactical's Inside Appendix Outside Holster. Its simple construction allows the user to switch between inside or outside the waistband carry, as well as appendix style. The bolter on clip can be configured in a number of ways to suit the user. It can even alternate between left and right hand configuration. Precise molding and a retention screw keep the Hellcat squared away, and there's even a recessed cut for optics. It's a lot of holster for not a lot of money, and it's also an easy way to try out different carry methods should you wish to try something new. Especially useful is the ability to convert the holster back to a more familiar method, should you not care for the new one. In keeping with the Hellcat's theme of output far exceeding its size is Surefire's new Stiletto Pro rechargeable LED flashlight. While small enough to fit in a pocket for everyday carry, this powerhouse puts out a whopping 1,000 lumens on its highest setting with a runtime of one hour. On the medium setting, 300 lumens are at the ready for an hour and a half, and should the lowest setting be employed, there's 25 lumens available for slightly less than an entire day, 23.5 hours. Standard activation is through a side-mounted button with a tail cap switch that toggles between high and stroke. Best of all, it recharges via a standard micro USB cable. For more information on the products we've chosen for today's iCarry kit, as well as other everyday carry combinations, visit shootingillustrated.com. And as always, stay tuned for more guns and gear on iCarry.